Hi everyone. In this series of videos we're looking at how to use the Avada Builder elements. These design elements allow you to easily add a vast range of content to your Avada site. Today we're looking at how to use the star rating element. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. The star rating element was added with Avada 7.5 and allows you to add a star rating anywhere in your content. You can pull the ratings dynamically from WooCommerce products for example, or ACF Pro if you have a rating system implemented that way, or you can add the ratings manually if you prefer. Let's have a look at a couple of scenarios where we might use this. I'll start with adding a manual star rating. On the Our Beers page of the Avada Craft Beer Prebuilt website, if I scroll down we can see these beers here. This is a good place to insert a manual star rating. I think the star rating should sit just under this strength label here, but I might also add a text block first. I'll just add that, and call this our users rate this beer. I'll centre it, and on the design tab, I'll set the bottom margin to 0 pixels, and set the font colour to white. Ok, now I'll add the star rating element below this. It opens on the general tab, and here I can set both the maximum and the actual rating. The defaults here are both 5, and I'm going to leave the maximum at 5, and set the rating for this beer to be 4.6. You can enter ratings with up to two decimal places if you want, so it could be 4.5 or 4.75, or whatever you like. The option under this is display empty rating, and this option is only relevant if you're pulling the ratings from dynamic content, as we'll see later. Under this is the usual element visibility and CSS class and CSS ID options, which I won't use in this example. So let's head to the design tab. The star icon is the default for this element, but you can use any icon you want here, like hats or crowns or whatever you like. In this case, this site has a custom icon set, so if I go to the beer tab, I can see a nice beer mug here, and I think I'll use that. Under this you can determine the icon size. For instance here I might make them a little bigger, at 22 pixels. Then there's the filled icon colour and the empty icon colour. These can be any colours you wish, but I'm happy with the defaults. There's also an option below to control the spacing of the icon, giving you lots of control over how it looks. Likewise you can turn the text on or off, and control its size, colour, and spacing from the icons. I'm happy with the defaults of all of these, so I'll skip to the penultimate option. Here in the alignment option, I want to centre this element. There's also an extras tab as well, and here I might give it an animation of rubber band, from the top, and set it at one second. Yeah, that looks cool. I could then just copy these two elements to the next beer, and just adjust the rating there. Ok, so that's using the star rating element to add a manual rating. You could also use this element manually in a testimonial, like here on the restaurant demo. This was created with nested columns, a block column layout, and individual icons, so this element would definitely come in handy in such a situation. Ok, so now let's have a look at how you can use this element to pull the star rating dynamically. Here on the Country Butcher pre-built site, I'll just scroll to the bottom of the page, and here we can see there are some products. These are WooCommerce products and are being displayed via a postcard element. So I will just head to the library and edit the products postcard to add the star rating element to that template. Ok, so here's our postcard. I think I'll add it under the title. Now as this is a dynamic template, there's no point having a manual rating in here. So I will click on the dynamic content icon in the rating option, and scroll down to WooCommerce, and select product rating. I've added some ratings to selected products, and this will pull that rating. I'll also set the next option, display empty rating to hide, so the ratings will only show up on products that actually have them. Now I'll just head to the design tab and centre this, and add a bit of margin underneath. Ok, I'm happy with the colours and icon etc here, so let's just save this postcard, and return to the home page. I'll just refresh this page, and here we can see our star ratings on two products, but not on the third, as it hasn't had any reviews. You could of course also use the Woo Ratings element in this postcard, but the star rating element is more flexible in some circumstances, as we have seen. Ok, that's the star rating element. 
Let us know in the comments what you think of this one, and how you have used it. This concludes our video on how to use the star rating element. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.